Hi guys, you're on VRM24.com. Today we're going to assemble Xiaomi Redmi Note 13 4G. First of all, we need to remove the card tray. Pay attention, it is located at the bottom. Gently push the tray out and put it aside. Next, we need to heat the surface of the back cover to a temperature of 70 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. To do this, we use a heating mat. You can use a hair dryer. And after 5 to 7 minutes, we can move on to detaching the back cover. To detach the back cover, we use a thin plastic film. We insert it into the gap between the back cover and the middle cover and gently run it along the edge, cutting off the adhesive base. We always need to be careful around the buttons and we need to be careful around the cameras. Accordingly, not to damage the buttons cable if it's located there and not to damage the cameras. Please note that in the camera area the cover opens really badly because the cover is additionally glued or taped around the cameras. So we need to be extremely careful not to accidentally damage the cover or damage the cameras. And we open the back cover. On the back cover we have only the gasket located. After that we move on to unscrewing the screws on the top. For this we use a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver or Phillips hash 3 -O. We place the screws on a special surface in a certain order so that nothing can be confused when reassembling. And pay attention, one of the screws we have is located under the flashlight. We need to carefully peel off the flashlight element and unscrew the last screw. After that, we can detach the top cover. We take the cover aside and then we disconnect the battery connector with a non-metal tool. After that, we move on to unscrewing the screws at the bottom. For this, we also use a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver or Phillips hash tree wall. All the same, carefully unscrew the screws and place them on a special surface separate from the previous screws. After unscrewing the screws, we need to detach the cover that hides the subboard. This cover most likely comes with a speaker. As always, we need to find the right place where we can gently pry, so we pry and remove the cover. As we can see, inside the cover we have the loudspeaker. After that, we disconnect the fingerprint sensor connector, disconnect the interboard cable connector, disconnect the coaxial cable connector, disconnect the display cable connector, and we can try to remove the subboard. Still, in the same way, we need to find the right place where to hook, lift, and remove the subboard. On the subboard, we have the charging port, microphone card connector on the back side. And in the display frame we still have the fingerprint sensor. And now traditionally quick test of the microphone hole. The microphone hole is located in the display frame, has an L shape, the hole goes to the subboard, the microphone itself is located on the back side of the microphone hole. Respectively, if we insert something into the microphone hole, we simply can damage the microphone in this way but water can. And we move on to disconnecting the display cable connector. The connector of the interboard cable disconnect the connector of the coaxial cable. And then we detach the rear camera. We carefully hook them, holding the cameras on purpose so that they don't accidentally come off and we don't damage anything. We can also disconnect the two cameras, rear and front, which are glued together with a copper heat sink foil. After that, we move on to detaching the motherboard. Finding the right place where we need to hook the motherboard, 
hook it up, try to lift it up and pull it out. The back side of the motherboard may be held in place by thermal paste. We also need to pull out all the cables so they don't get in the way. So we take the motherboard out. On the motherboard we have the second microphone located. On the motherboard we have the second microphone located. In the display frame we have the earpiece speaker. And we move on to detaching the battery. We need to unwrap the brown tabs. Both tabs need to be turned to the side. And the tab that is located on the edge with the letter A, we need to gently pull upwards to remove the battery. In our case, we accidentally ripped off tab A. So we just unfold tab B and pry the battery up a little bit with a tool. So we remove the battery and that is the end of our assembly. Thank you for watching guys and see you around or in the new videos. Okay guys, now we're done. Thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel or read our articles on our website. Take care of yourself and until next video.